So you just bought the HyperX Pulsefire Dart wireless gaming mouse, but you don't know how to use the software, or maybe you're a little hesitant in buying the mouse because you don't know how to use the Ingenuity software. In this video, I show you guys how to use it. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, and the little bell notification. That way you get notified when I make videos just like this. Okay, we can see that right over here. This bad boy will give us about 40 hours of battery life. All right, so that's almost two days worth of gaming. All right, so now you can see it. I have it resting on the key charger. Now the key charger is separate. You have to buy that separately, but you can see I'm also charging my phone on it. Now, I just took off my Google Pixel 3 XL and you saw that light turn off. It also turned off when I moved the mouse, but now if I put my Google Pixel 3 XL back on here, see that light turn back on and then it started charging. So that's pretty cool the way it does that. Again, no cables aside from this guy here connected to the adapter that's connected into a plug. Okay, but aside from that, so with the key charger not connected to through USB, you cannot use the Ingenuity software. So in order for me to do that, I'll just go ahead, disconnect that from here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the USB side into my PC. Now I'm gonna plug that right here into the mouse. Okay. All right, now that I did that, you see this little logo appears right over here. So I'm gonna click that. Okay, and that brings us into the Ingenuity software. So we start off in the light section. Okay, and then, well, we don't see any effects right now. So we have to click add effect. And we have a few different effects, but I'm gonna select solid for right now and click add. We can see right now we're on red, but we can go completely around the circle. And as I'm changing it here, you see it change on the mouse as well. And then over here, we can make it darker or make it lighter, you know, and we can play around with the colors pretty much as we want to. And then we can also change the opacity as well. So go as hidden or, you know, we start coming into it so you can see it a lot more. Okay, so then coming back into add effects, we can do cycle. That'll just go ahead and cycle through all of the colors and maybe, you know, you can go, you can choose more cycling effects through here as well, and then change the opacity. And then of course we can change the speed too. Okay, and then coming back to add effects, we can do pulse, then we select add, and then it pulses through all these colors. We can slow it down if we want to. Or speed it up. Heart attack. All right. And then coming back over here to add effects, then we can do breathing, add effect, make it breathe as slow, or as fast as we want. And then same way, we can change all the colors. And then we can go on all the different sections we can change, if we wanna change this, put it like that, and we wanna do that. So they don't have to all be in sync. See how that's not in sync? And we can do that with breathing, pulse, cycle, and solid as well. And then adding the effect, trigger, as we're playing a game, the color is triggered in the lighting effect. So coming over to buttons, so again, this is blank. So let's say we wanna do forward here and we'll do a keyboard function. And let's say we'll bind it to, to the th number three. So we'll go ahead and open up a notepad. And then now every time I hit that, a three comes out. 
Okay, so I'll go ahead and close that out. And now mouse function, you know, if we want to change the left click or the right click or the middle click, we can do that all right over here. Multimedia, play, pause, stop. You know, you can assign each key to one of these functions. Okay, and now a macro. So we'll go click add macro, hit record. Now using only my keyboard, Now I'll click stop over here and done. So now I hit forward. You see every single key I just hit showed up there. Now mind you, I only did that for the forward key. You could do that for whatever key you'd like. And then over here we can open, you know, choose open a file or program, choose open a folder, open a website. And again, assign to the forward or whatever key you prefer. And then disable if you wanted to disable any one of those keys. So we'll get rid of this guy. We, want to, we don't want to disable that. We want to disable this. So now the back key is always disabled. All right, so aside from buttons, then we have sensors. Okay, then here we can change the DPI settings and we can add more settings as well. And then they're all color coded. So if I select blue here, see that turns blue. Or if I select yellow, that turns yellow there. And that's to tell me what color I have. So that was me using the other, another mouse. So if I click here, you see how it changes, but it changes the color as well to tell me what DPI I'm selecting. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So coming over here to battery, we can see the pulse fire dart is 100% charged because well I've been char I've been charging it for a little bit and then you know we disconnect it you know we're not using this cable anymore whenever it gets to 15% then we get a notification that the power is low coming over here to brightness we can change just how bright or how dim we want the light to be here we can change the polling rate from 125, 250, 500, and 1000. Then over here, we can change the presets that they have. These presets over here. But then we can always go ahead and add new presets, new duplicate and port. We can export those presets and more. So it's got a lot of nice settings. So coming over here to the gear icon, we can see we can change the language from English to all of these languages here. We can change the game link on or off. Auto activate presets that have been linked to a game or application. Now that's going to be based off of this trigger effect right over here. Coming back over here to the gear. Now startup, we can have the HyperX software start up with a machine. Minimize the taskbar so when it does start up, it's minimized automatically. Here, software, it tells us that it is the HyperX Ingenuity. This release is from December 2019. It is the beta release. It tells us the release notes, support, and reset to defaults. Connected hardware, it says mouse to because I've connected and reconnected many times, but now it says mouse because I changed it. Tells us the firmware. Every so often while we're using the mouse, a little notification pops up that might say, hey, there's a new firmware, want to apply it? Click yes or no. When you click yes, it's gonna ask you to connect this cable so that it can update the firmware. Unfortunately, that part, it can't do wireless, but you, know, you can't have everything. Uh, again, we have support here, and then if we wanna reset all the settings back to default, then you can connect to HyperX through Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitch, and then all the legal stuff right over here. Now, I'm gonna have links to everything I've shown you in this video in the description below. The keypad, the HyperX Pulsefire Dart mouse, and even my Google Pixel 3, because why not? <laughs> but anyway, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. I'd love to help you guys out. And any questions, concerns, or comments, leave them below. Iggy out. See you guys.